maybe you got to try something else. You got to like the beginning of this episode, like we said that, um, oh, I got to create an environment for my wife to want to like to build that desire for her. But like, what are the different reasons? I don't know. I would I would ask I would ask why maybe and not to say that there's something wrong with you necessarily if your spouse is not having sex with you. But I just think, as we talked about intimacy, we didn't really dive too much into intimacy. We kind of just commented on this article the whole time, which is, has been fun. Yeah. Um, but, like, intimacy is so multifaceted. What you talking about, girl? I broke it down from physical to emotional. Come on. Don't okay. play me like that. Come on. Um, But because it's so multifaceted, I would say, like, why do you think that is? And maybe I wouldn't ask this in the moment. Obviously, that's not really sensitive. If someone's telling you, like, my spouse is not having sex with me. Like, that's not. You obviously start off with empathy. Yeah. Um. But if we're thinking rationally about it, maybe there's not something I would say to someone, but what I'm thinking, or in my own case, it's like, what are the factors that come into place and take inventory over that? Is it, is it me? Is it him? Is it both of us? Like what's happening? Is my spouse dealing with their own issues? Are they dealing with mental health issues? Are they severely depressed? Are they dealing with health issues? You know, losing weight extremely fast, gaining weight. Are they underweight? Are they obese? Like what's happening? Like I'm, yeah, these are so actual like, those are real very, factors like, that can impact your sex life yes. in a great way. Those are so like not, but we're That's not vague. being yes. Like we're talking about specifically because those are like the obvious. That's not obvious. I know. People sometimes don't think about that. I know, but I'm not talking. But we're not talking about that, especially with these cases. Like we're talking about two healthy individuals. And I don't not, know what's going on with these people. We don't know these people. No. So like, Why is let's he not so like sex let's with put him? it really like related to us like that's what you were asking me and like as as far as we know it we are two sound in mind sound mind individuals and let's say you stop having sex yeah we go six months and you're not having sex yeah like i would ask these questions i would say is there something wrong with your physical health like i would take a i would start trying to take inventory there's nothing wrong there's nothing wrong i know but i would observe first i know i'm telling you so what are you doing now personally i would try to observe so what are you doing now after you observe and you came up that literally? I would bring those things up first. First, I would think, are you working too much? Yeah. Are you are you working too much? Do you not have enough time? Are you stressed out mentally? Because that's the thing that I don't see. I don't literally see all your, like your thoughts. So I would say, are you stressed out? Are you unmotivated? Are you depressed? Like people are literally committing suicide and some people don't even suspect that. You know what I mean? And that's where like... Some there's moments where we laugh and we joke, but this this is not a joking matter. Like there's moments where it gets serious. And I would genuinely ask you people when they become depressed, they find joy in nothing. Yeah. So I would take inventory if none of those are the case. Then, yes, I would I would have a conversation with you and I would say, hey, what's going on? I'm feeling like I want to have sex. And every time I try to initiate or hug you or whatever, you're pushing me away. Because also, again, sex is not just sex. There's a lead up, right? Mm -hmm. Like, are you pushing me away anytime I kiss you? Are you embarrassed about something? Like, what is actually happening? Yeah, so, like, the issue with these examples is that there's not really enough context in any any of these examples. And, like, basically what you're saying is that the root cause may not be obvious, but there is a root cause, whether it be as low as someone is really going through something, like depression, or as disrespectful as... Honestly, some people just want to cheat. Like, some it is what do. it is. Like, some people just want to. And I don't think there's one root cause. I think it's multifaceted. I yeah. think there's many layers. And you can deep you can deep dive into all those to better your relationship. But also, it could be nothing at all. And at the end of the day, it doesn't give you an excuse to cheat. So. Yeah.